time. It has a unique way of showing us what really matters. Well, to begin with, Colorado Field and most high schools had a better stadium than we had. So the enthusiasm for this beautiful facility up against Horsetooth and the uh, foothills, it was just absolutely sensational. Love it or hate it, college athletics will always be an arms race. Progress continued indefinitely. Compared to what we had, this was like the Rose Bowl. Six decades of football. All those memories. Mr. Hughes, coach. It's time we say farewell. Colorado State coming in at 5-5 five and five on the season. Meanwhile, New Mexico coming in at 7-3. and three. It's a Ram football team with two games left, Mark. They need a win if they want to become bowl eligible. Obviously, it's the final game at Hughes Stadium. It's the final home game ever for uh, a bunch of seniors, 16 of them. This is a, obviously, it's an emotional game. I just keep having stuck in my head what Coach was talking about at the end of the Air Force game last week. Coach immediately flipped over to what was ahead of them. They will run you out if we don't perform better. Going into the New Mexico game, we kind of went in with a different game plan for that team. So we wanted to keep it in the ring. We wanted to keep the fight in the middle. And I think that helped out a lot. But um, I think emotions might have helped too because it was senior night, you know, it's the last time that you're going to get to play with the seniors and it's the last time that there's going to be a game at Hughes Stadium. Like we had to go in there and do it for not just ourselves but the entire community. Colorado State football players carrying out the roses, the 16 seniors that will be playing their final home game. Don't tell your families you love them. All right, y'all take care of business. Lead this football team. All right, let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Rams out three. One, two, three. Rams. Rams for New Mexico and their offense coming in at 7-3, 5-1 in conference. Best rushing football team in the nation. So here we go. The Rams are going to kick off right to left. And Braxton Davis will put foot to leather. And they'll run the option. Apodaca will pitch it near side. Lead option. We'll see that play many, many times. First time tonight. Toss to the left side. Trying to get the edge was Owens. Did turn up field, but reinforcements are there. RJ Gene in a defensive end, normally a rush hand. Coaches are going to put in their speed rushers. I like that. Keep playing. Keep playing. Keep trying to get the edge. Cuts up field outside the numbers of the 45-40. Down the near sideline. Has some room at the 30. Opening offensive possession for the Rams. We're in the first quarter. No score. CSU on the move. Second down and nine. Play fake from the 20 over the middle. Ball caught. Wide open. Into the end zone. And a touchdown. Nolan Peralta left wide open. Down the seam. And Colorado State will strike first. Down in eighth from the 27 yard line. Give to the first man through. It's met right away. Kevin Davis. Dawkins play fake. Steven stepping up in the pocket, throws over the middle. Gallup has it. 40 yard line started up field to the 35. Rams on the move once again, up seven to nothing. Six and change to go in the opening period of play. First down from the 34 yard line, back to the ground game. Big hole up the middle. Daylon Dawkins at the 20. First and goal from the 14 yard line. Stevens keeps it himself. The quarterback keeper straight up the middle. He's at the five. He dives in. Touchdown, Nick Stevens. And Colorado State coming flying out of the gates tonight. And they lead New Mexico 13-0. So 
have 14 nothing here in the first. Apodaca going to give to the first man through. Stacked up pretty good. Apodaca runs the option near side. They'll pitch it. Cutting up field. From the gun, Apodaca looking, looking. Here comes the pressure and down he goes. Richard King and Brian Ohini Gini. Second down and one. Give straight up the middle. Doc has a hole to 15. Dawkins inside the 10. First down and goal. Toss sweep. Goes Matthews up inside the five. Second and goal from the one. Ball spotted near hash. Nick Stevens trying to quarterback sneak. Spins his way into the end zone. The Lobos from the 15 yard line. He'll go back to the ground game. Toss to the right side. Gibson has some room. Trying to cut a field. And then here comes the Rams at the 23. Boy, it looked like there'd be some room. Colorado State was able to swallow him up. The Rams have thrown two yard line. They'll go to the ground game this time. Matthews made a man miss at the five broken tackle. He's in the clear now, far side at the 20, out to the 30. Coach Bobo's got to be loving this running game. This is what he loves to do. Look at this. This is like a 10-man front now on defense. Toss sweep, Matthews. Broke attack with 15. Cut a field. He's at the five. He's in for the touchdown. The Rams go 98 yards in nine plays. Seven of the nine plays were on the ground. Dominating drive. They can't tap you. They can't. They can't tap you. You didn't say it for this was 30 minutes. You said 60 minutes. You said you were going to be there for everybody in this room for 60 minutes. That's what it's about, 60 minute fight. Everything you got for everybody in this room. Let's send these seniors out front. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You couldn't have scripted this out any better. Now, listen, I know we have 30 minutes of football still to go here, Mark Driscoll, but I don't think you can have any more fun than this. Second down, 11 Stevens to throw deep out as Gallup. Nick throws the ball in the air, I go catch it. That's, that's really all I can tell you. It's not, it's not like a gloat thing. Um, it's not about how many yards I'm getting or if I'm scoring like that. I just catch the ball and run. That's all I'm thinking about. Football to 48, broken tackle. Down the sideline he goes. Michael Gallup, touchdown, Colorado State. And it's 34-10 CSU, 65 yards. We just kept shutting down the run like over and over and over again. There was like nothing they could really do, and our offense just kept bumping up the score. When they tried to do that onside kick, and we just kind of hammered the nail in the coffin when Justin Falls just ran in there and took out their kicker. I feel like that was when, for them, their hope was lost. Lobos went with the onside kick, move of desperation. Colorado State's gonna recover it at the Lobo 46 yard line. Excellent job by the Rams being alert. Second down at seven from the 32. They'll run the fly sweep. There goes Clark, cut up field at the 25. Made a man miss with the 20. Cuts across the numbers. He's at the 10. He's at the five. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. Fly sweep to the right. Cut it all the way back to the left for the score. And it's 41-17. Turn again, Marvin Kinsey Jr. Huge hole. Watch out at the 40, at midfield, near side 40, to the 30. To the 20, to the 10, touchdown, Marvin Kenzie Jr. Well, certainly a night to remember tonight from Fort Collins and Hughes Stadium as Colorado State beats New Mexico in the final game at Hughes is 49 31. And the students now, they're going to come out onto the field and they're going to start taking down the goalposts. The CSU just flat out beat up the Lobos tonight. And what a way to send out Hughes Stadium. You, you couldn't have picked a better way to do it. You know, there's a lot of people that uh, have been going to watch games at Hughes for a long time. And after that game, I mean, you could just tell. I mean, everybody was just standing there. A lot of people were, you know, had tears in their eyes and stuff like that. So. You know, for us to get the win like that, it was just good for the program, good for the fans, and then also just good for the players. Hey, great job, okay? Had a way to close out the stadium in style. We got two more boys. Really just an awesome night, you know, for our community, for the university, for every uh, Ram fan that's ever 
witnessed the game here uh, for any player that's ever played. Uh, a lot of memories uh, in this stadium. We've, we've all bled on this field. One of the most vivid memories I have is actually a game I wasn't even on the team. It was my senior year, I was being recruited. It was the Wyoming 94 game. And watching the students come onto the field before the game was even over, they had to kick them off the field. They came back on, stormed the field, the goal post got torn down, and just thinking, oh my gosh, this is the best place in the world. I am definitely coming here. I always say this, that I would trade every dollar I earned in the NFL to go be able to start college over. The ability to play here in front of uh, all of these fans is very, very special. Go Rams. Man, it's, it's a great, great memory, wonderful memory. I was just out there with a couple people and they were crying, like shedding tears, telling me they've been here for 40 years. And just to go out like this is just thank you for the game. People were telling me thank you. Thank you for the win tonight. It meant so much to them. So it's just, it's just a great feeling. It's just a great feeling that we could impact a community like that. Hughes Stadium has been such a huge part of this community for over 40 years. And for us to be able to take part and share in the last game at Hughes Stadium is awesome. And to send it out the way we did with uh, with a win like that is it's something we'll remember forever, and it's something we hope that uh, the community will remember forever and will uh, be happy about. We love you guys, and we, we appreciate all the support you give us throughout the entire year through the ups and downs. And uh, to be able to send this uh, stadium out, it's not for us. This win wasn't for us. It's for the CSU community and everyone who's ever been a CSU Ram has come through here and put the pads and helmet on. So uh, we did it for them. We did it for the entire community, and uh, we're just so happy to send it out this way. All right, that's going to do it here from the uh, press box and the radio booth for, for the final time, not just tonight, forever here at St. Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium. Still strange to say that. Brian Roth saying so long one final time here from Hughes Stadium as we say goodnight from the base of Horsetooth Reservoir. Take care. And so Hughes closed. Exactly the way it should have with the storybook ending. Hi, friends. Welcome to the broadcast alongside Mark Driscoll, Brian Roth with you. It's the regular season finale here in the 2016 college football season. It's a Ram football team coming up. A resounding win last week. Now that they have that sixth win, they know they're going bowling no matter what happens here tonight. San Diego State coming in at 9-2 and two overall, averaging nearly 284 rushing yards on offense. Second best in the nation, giving up just 97 on defense. Donnell Pumphrey, he is third all-time in the nation. Demand respect. You know how you do it? You've changed the way they think. Striking blockers, getting all flush, making plays. Everybody in this room believes in you, and that's all that matters. Nothing else matters. Not what other people think, nothing. Let's go. Four quarters. Here we go, man, everybody. Oh, hey, hey, here we go. The wait's over. There's zero down in my mind. This is the best football team in the conference. Let's play like a champion tonight. Let's go. Sure, Let's go. go. It's like last week. Anytime you touch the ball, get in the damn end zone. Make a difference today. Playmakers on three. One, two, three. Playmakers. Doesn't rain much here in Southern California, but have had a ton of it here this afternoon. Let's go. And play fast, physical, pissed off. And we're going to go three. One, two, three. We're going to take the win. Go. Go. away from kickoff the Rams have won the toss they have elected to receive opening offensive possession of the game for the Rams five wides for Stevens wants to throw deep out far side that's caught into Aztec territory Colorado State going to go empty set again five wides for Stevens into shotgun takes the snap throws over the middle as Gallup at the 30 cuts up field at the 25 he's to the 20 broke a tackle at the 10 he's to the five and he's into the end zone for the touchdown a simple slant to Michael Gallup, and he takes it 35 yards for the score. Those boys didn't know what was about to go down in San Diego. Christian Chapman, the Christian Chapman quarterback, quarterback, hands off to the right side, trying to get the edge of his penny, and he can't do it. Play was strung out, and finally it was Zimmett, man, to get to him. In fact, it was Jawan Washington, third down at eight from the 31. Rams bring an extra man. Chapman rolling to his right now, throws underneath, caught at the 35, out to the 37 to be stopped right there. Evan Colorado, 
Third and five, Colorado State. Aztecs look like they're going to bring the house. Everybody's standing up, taking a look at the far sideline. Mike Bobo now get a call a timeout. They looked like they were going to come with the blitz against the five wides. So I think that's what happened is the coaches see, okay, now we know what they're going to do or what we think they're going to do. Now they're going to come with pressure. we got to look at it. Call timeout. Let's talk about it. Make sure we don't end up with a bad play on third and five. Now, we got a chess game going here because Rocky Long's going to check off on the, what his defense has run. And he's going to, so we got Mike Bobo versus Rocky Long, and this is going to be fun to watch all night long. 8.44 to go in the first period of play. Rams up 7-0 on San Diego State, but facing a third and five at the Aztec 46-yard line. Two receivers right to the left. Stevens from the shotgun, takes the snap. He's looking to the right, throws deep out, has Gallup. Colorado State picking apart San Diego State early. Gain of 19 to the 27-yard line, first and 10. Rams run a little screen, got Dietrich Clark, caught it to 20, cuts up field, and he is off to the races. Touchdown, CSU, 27 yards away, and it's 13-0. From the shotgun, Nick Stevens takes the snap, throws slant, has Gallup caught at the 45 at midfield. Gallup into Aztec territory. Coach Bobo laid it out perfectly. He knew exactly what the defense was going to do, exactly what it's going to look like. Uh, and it, it opened up just like that. You know, it, it, it doesn't line up perfectly from practice to the game very often, but on that play it did. Third and 10 from the 38. Stevens, seven step drop, throws deep over the middle, has Ruiz, got it to 15. I was just running down the field. There was, I, it seemed like there was no one around me, there's no one in front of me at least. Uh, I didn't see Nick at first, so I was wondering if it was going to be a missed opportunity. Uh, and then all of a sudden I see the ball in the air, it's coming my way right on the money. Uh, thought it was going to be an easy touchdown, but as soon as I glanced to my right, I saw the dude right there. And he, he robbed me. He robbed me. First down and goal to go, hand off, left side, Matthews pushing, touchdown, Colorado State. Second down to two for the Rams at their own 39-yard line. Hand off to Dawkins, has first down to Moore. 45, midfield, broke the tackle. 45, Stevens to throw on first down, looking deep. Enzo has Gallup wide open for the touchdown. Second and eight from the 33, back to Pumphrey, looking for room on the right side. And does not find any Colorado State flying to the football. Be very leery of a fake here. Pay attention to the fake. Fourth and one, San Diego State from their own 40. The snap is there, they will kick it away. Boy, what a great kick. I don't know, I, I caught it, made the first guy miss. You know, I was kind of on the run sideways. He lost his leverage, just kept going with my flow and uh, made the first guy miss. And I remember specifically seeing Tyree on the sideline. And for some reason, we made eye contact. And I said, if I can get past Tyree, this is gonna be a big return. And I started running to him. As soon as I thought, had that thought in my head, I see his eyes lock on somebody behind me. And I just sprint all I, all I can all out to get past Tyree. And sure enough, two steps after I pass on here, crap. Circles out of a tackle at the 15 up the far sideline, 20 has some room. Cut across field, he's at the 40, 45 midfield, in the clear. It's Ruiz to the 30. I'll tell you the last 17 yards was, was no cake. I was uh, looking up at the big screen and I was just praying that no one came flying in from behind me because I didn't have any more juice. I was, I was it, I was gassed. To the 20, he's gonna go! Touchdown! Oh, oh, oh. Robert Ruiz! I just looked up and held my hands up and there's a lot of factors that went into that special moment for me. You know, it kinda, kinda almost felt full circle in a way. No flags down! And CSU is taking one back to the house! I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty, pretty awesome. First and 10 from the 30, Pumphrey going to take the hand up, trying to get to the outside, not going to be able to do it. Jake Schlager, oh, Izzy Matthews on a big run. Yep, straight up the middle, here goes Matthews, broke it to the outside, he's at the 30, to the 25, to the 20. 23 seconds to go in the first half, Rams have it, second and three at the five yard line. Stevens play fake, rolls to his right, throws, Ruiz hauls it in in the end zone, and it's a touchdown. CSU is hung 41 on San Diego State in the first half alone. And Colorado State getting booed off the field as they come to the locker room. And what a first half by Colorado State, and in particular that Ram offense. No team just said it, I said, four quarter fight. Four quarter fight. They got 50 yards rushing. 55. Okay? They're not gonna stop being who they are. They're gonna stay committed to the run. Great play on coverage, All right? Do not relax. Kickoff coverage, 
starts the game. That sets the tone. 30 more minutes. I said this is the best team in the conference right now. All right, that's what I believe without a doubt. All right, best team in the conference finishes ball games. Let's finish it. Let's go. Finish ball games. It's like that first, if they could do that, CSU will be on to their seventh win of the season. Here at halftime, as we get set to start the third quarter, it's Colorado State 42 and San Diego State 24. <laughs> Fake wants to throw, eludes the pressure, fires over the middle, and it's intercepted! Jamal Hicks has come up, but he's picked it off! Third and three from the sixth. Fly sweep to Clark, he wants to throw, end zone, has Gallup! It's caught for the touchdown! Rams go into the bag of tricks, but it's 48-24! What other way would you want to close out Hughes Stadium than running up the score like we did against a high-powered offense? Uh, basically outscoring the most high-powered offense in the nation right now. Um, and then again with this last game, you know, supposedly the best team in our conference and we went out there and handled business. I mean, there's, there's not too many better ways to go out as far as your last season. I definitely see a group of guys that were always hungry. Uh, they never lost their love for the game or their hunger to want to be great. Definitely not satisfied. You know, we're definitely not where we want to be in the conference. Uh, but definitely going to look back at the second half of the year as something to be proud of. So as the season comes to an end, we can look ourselves in the mirror. We didn't start how we wanted to, but we finished just how we knew we would, emerging as the strongest team in the Mountain West. I said it, I meant it. Game for the game. We're the best team in the conference right now, okay? Because you got better every single week, okay? Every single week, every man in here, all right, went to work, prepared, kept fighting for each other. That's the sign of a champion, okay? That's the sign of a champion. Special season. We want to send these seniors out the right way. That's a great job. Great, great job. That's a good football team over there. All right? You may. On the road, all right? Great job. I'm so proud of this group right here. We got a bowl game. We got to get ready for it. Whoever we play, they better watch out.